this is a huge honor and privilege uh, to be talking with you both. And the first thing I actually wanted to mention, this is not even for me, this is for my wife, Alicia. All she simply wanted to say was, she loves you guys and hi. That's, that's it. Well, tell her we love her too. God bless her. <laughs> so sweet. That's Thank gonna you. warm her heart. How has this show and, and roles impacted your life since joining in season three? Oh man, I feel like for me, uh, it's just been, I've been able to sort of, I was always someone who had a faith and it was part of my life. Um, but I think this show has sort of enabled me to just be more open about it uh, with anybody in the industry, you know, because now mm. we're talking about a specific show about a specific person who it, you know, is off putting to others and, and is the greatest thing on earth for, for, you know, his crew. So I guess I yeah. would just say it's allowed me to be more open about that and, and just invite others into the journey and into the process. And I, I think it's just been a joy to work on this show. First of all, it's amazing to work with such an amazing crew and cast, you know, everybody's been so supportive and wonderful. And so it's a, it's a joy to be on set. Uh, as far as I'm, I'm, you know, I'm 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 a believer as well. Um, so as far as faith, you know, it, it, it's it's been amazing to see how it's bolstered other people's faith around the world, and how much of an impact that playing these roles and being part of the series has touched so many people around the world. And that's very very humbling. Uh, I don't think it's really kind of hit me yet. I mean, I, it comes in waves because I just you know to me I'm you know I'm an actor for hire. You know, it's <laughs> I'm doing a show downtown. I've got a show. Right. right. I gotta go. It's just like, and to be uh, this past weekend, I, w I went to go see four, five, and six, and I announced that I was going to be there. And actually, when I walked in and they were all waiting for me, I said, Hey, enjoy the show. I'm going to go see Dune, <laughs> <laughs> which made them all laugh. I would have joined you. I would have joined you, honestly. I'm, like, hey, I'm going with him. <laughs> right. Sorry. I already saw these, but I'm going to go with him. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, um, it, that's the biggest thing is just how, how it's reached so many people of different denominations around the world and how much of an impact that it has. And to be part of that and in a situation where you get to couple your faith and your craft, it's, it doesn't always happen. And yeah. to have it happen on this scale, yeah, very, very, it's a blessing and it's very, uh, humbling. Well, thank you so much for your raw and honest answers and, and going into your faith. Um, it's a beautiful thing to display and see, especially when it's a show about this specific story in history. Um, and for and for some people, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful show. You know what I mean? Like it's a show that yeah. encourages people's faith, but also it's just a great show. And it's just a very well done show. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Really, to me, what this season is about, it's about death within that context of the season of death and how it affects people, especially we get a huge light on your guys's story with Lazarus, Mary and Martha and Jesus. Can you share if there were any personal experiences or moments from your life that influenced the phenomenal performances, honestly, in episodes, specifically episodes seven and even eight? Ooh, mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever been through anything quite like what we get to journey through together in this season. Um, however, Certainly, you know, I've experienced dark things and sad things, but I think the the biggest um, tool for me this season was just being in a posture of worship, just listening to worship music, trying to get wow. into the headspace of someone who truly believed that this is the, the King of Kings and the Lord of mm -hmm. Lords, right? So where is she coming from? How hard is this for her knowing that you know, so I just, without giving too much away, I understand it's out. I just don't want to ruin it for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, but just that was the position was how can we grapple with this from what we know and what we believe and how can we get through this with faith and with love mm -hmm. and, and it's hard. It was a very hard season, I think for so many characters. Yeah. I guess if there's a, a, a moment, um, for me and, uh, was being uh being the preparation of being wrapped and and put it, being put into the tomb to prepare um, uh, for that scene because I was in there for quite a long time and it was 103 in the desert and 100 and it must have been 110. In the <laughs> wow, I was I, I it was an it was like an oven. Mm -hmm. 
you know, something that's not shot is like me, you know, being actually laying on the slab. And so, you know, while I was there, I just, you know, kind of had a moment where I'm wrapped up, I can't move. And I was completely covered in flies because not too far away from oh, yeah. is the cow, is the cow farm. Oh, and yeah. So I can swat them away. You're committed. Mm. You know, and, and it was pretty much pitch black. Mm. And for some reason in, in, in the preparation of that, um, it, I, there was a, you know, by uh, the, something from the Bible that just was playing on repeat in my head and just launched me into that scene. And that was, uh, you know, from uh, John 15, uh, 18 to 27, you know, if the, if the world, if the world hates you, remember that it hated me before it hated you. That that whole passage, every time I read it every year, just it it, it gut punches me, just like this season, you know, gut punches the audience. Um, and so that, you know, that you know, moment of coming out, that preparation, that build to hearing, you know, Jonathan, you know, say the line to call me out um, was a very um, uh, personal uh, and profound moment for me uh, because for some reason that bible um uh passage popped into my head at that moment there's moments that truly define people and i think that <laughs> moment right there defines the characteristics of mary martha and lazarus and like it moves forward what their mission is all about it was the last i think he said sighting that he's going to um commit to jesus um right. Which I, I was like, wait, really? I think often, um, you know, people are mostly focused on uh, the divinity of Jesus, mm -hmm. and we're now we're thrust into really uh, facing the humanity mm. as well, and they both work in tandem together, which is mm -hmm. what that uh, uh, you know the Jesus Jesus on the show goes through in this season. You know, it's yeah. the sorrow. You know, it's it's truly a journey of uh, a man of sorrows, and you. Yeah. Can sorrow throughout um the season as we know where we're leading to yeah and it's i feel like what we get to witness through that as well is that he you know we know him to have the power to do certain things and we want for our own gain him to do those things and to grapple with him not doing those things is a very difficult journey, I think, for any believer, but any human. Like, if you know something's possible and it's not being done, that is really going to test your faith. And that's really going to question, you're going to question the relationship, you're going to question life and what you're going through. And so I think all of that is wildly relatable. And you get to go through that multiple ways with multiple characters and multiple storylines this season. So my last question out of the thousands that I had, but this one I believe is really important, is what message do you think your story conveys to people? I feel like the themes of faith and forgiveness are heavy this season with this character. Um, faith is tested. Forgiveness is hard to come to. Um, you may not arrive at it, uh, but that is a general lesson, you know, that we know from scripture is, is important. You know, it says 70 times seven or so, and I, maybe it's 77 times seven, I forget, but it's some impossible number of times that you would have to forgive someone before you could rightfully say you don't deserve forgiveness, right? And think of just how many decisions are you making on a daily basis that you're being forgiven for because you're affecting other people in all of those decisions. And so I think it sort of just puts everyone on the same plane and realizing like we are all going through this together and it is not perfect and it is not easy. Um, but I think the show and the community that gets to go see the show together, I got to go with a big group of people that were all commenting on certain aspects that they were very familiar with and shocked by aspects that were new to the storyline. And just being there together, I think was so emboldening for each of us and our spirits because it's a hard, it's a hard, you know, life is just hard. And I think this show does a beautiful job honoring that. You see uh, a lot of um, uh, people are at different levels of understanding who he is in the show you know you have the apostles that even though they've seen all these things they yet are struggling with with who who he is uh because their own humanity is is getting in the, in the way yeah. you see people like um the like i'll just i'll just quote it from uh, from the bible just like the the centurion you know his his faith was so much that he didn't need him to come to his home he just knew that he could do it 
And that's another level of faith um, that the apostles at this point do not have. Where, and then you've got Lazarus. Um, uh, still, even through through death, never never wavers in his faith in his friend, as well. So um, we all have we we're all in different points in our journey, um, and um, I think you know people need to be forgiving not only of other people but of themselves. Truly, like I said in the beginning, an honor and a privilege. I hope that we meet again and. You guys killed it. You guys absolutely Aww. killed it. And I can't wait to watch it again in theaters this weekend. I'm going to take some friends and yeah, I look forward to your guys' future projects. Um, yeah, I really appreciate Thank you. you guys. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. We've had a blast. Thank Thanks you. for all the great questions Thank today. You. Thank you. Hope you guys get a lunch break, okay? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just want to yeah, look at your soon. collection. Oh, I got you. If That's I got yeah, yeah. 20 more seconds, just... <laughs> Get the uh, season three DVD right there. Nice. Funko yes. Pops. We got Western Ken. I love Barbie. What can I say? Joseph, I could see us nerding out all day. <laughs> <laughs>